Hello my fans and thank you for joining me back at my channel. Well today I'm really excited about this video is because I finally got my hands on the um, Anastasia palette. Um, it's the master palette by Mar Mar Mario. Sorry. He is a um, celebrity makeup artist and he does have a channel on YouTube. So I finally got my hands on it which I'm so excited. So I'm going to show you what the palette looks like. I'm going to do some swatches and then I'm going to do an eye look with the palette. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. It is the perfect neutral palette. Like the colors are really, really simple. Um, they're, just, they're, just, they're just gorgeous. Like I love this palette. Um, if you're into neutral colors, um, nothing too dramatic, this palette is really, really nice for you. And I just must say that this palette reminds me a little bit of the Cargo palette. But this is what the palette looks like. You get all of these shadows. Um, you get two matte, no, actually three matte shadows. And then you get some satin shadows here. And I'm going to do a really quick swatch of them. Um, I like that they named the palette, I mean named the shadows and stuff like that. So that's really, really cool. Um, so let me just do a couple of swatches of it really quick before I go into um, what I'm going to do as far as a look. So the first color is called Hollywood. Ooh, that is really really pretty really really pretty color and I'm gonna swatch it on my hand now remember that swatching the colors on your hand is totally different than putting the colors on your eye especially when you're using a brush so that color is called Hollywood Ooh, this color here is gorgeous the NYX NYC I'm sorry it's called NYC and this is a really pretty outer corner color really really pretty I'm just gonna do really quick swatches my fits I don't want the video to be too long and the third color here is called Kim and the next color is called Muse gorgeous oh my goodness they really are pigmented I love the colors I'm so happy with this palette so I just did uh, quick swatches on my hand I don't want them to be too video to be too long so this color here is called um, Marnina and this one is Claudia. Isabel is a really, really pretty color. I would use this as a transition color for my skin tone. This is Viola. Fifth Avenue. And this is Bronx. And this color here is called Paris. So um, I'm going to just jump right into the look. I don't really know what look I'm going to do. So just gonna come up just a little bit I already put um, did my face I usually don't do my face makeup first but um, I didn't want the video to be too long so let's jump into it. I'm gonna pick up my um, Sigma brush the E25 brush and I'm gonna go into the color Isabella and I'm gonna use that as a transition color you can see how pigmented it is so there's a little bit of fallout with these shadows I noticed they're a little bit um, just a little, they, they kick up a little bit of dust, but once you tap them off, and I would advise that you would use a base on your eye. So I'm just going to start at the outer corner, and I'm just going to drag that color in. Well, my skin tone is nearly maybe one or two shades lighter than my skin tone, so it's a really nice transition color. I'm just going to blend that in. I'm going to do a simple look. I'm not going to do anything too dramatic since it is really a simple palette. And I'm sure that you can um, do a more dramatic look. That's what's so nice about this palette. And the colors really blend in. You can see how really nicely that color blended. Okay, so I'm going to put Isabella on the other eye. You can see that it, it's, a, it's a quite a lot of kick up with the powder with the shadow on me I'm just gonna blend that in this is gonna be a really simple look I'm trying to do as simple as possible and because my eyes somewhat go down a little bit I'm gonna sweep that color out a little bit
that's a really pretty color i really do like that color okay so i'm going to pick up another i'm more of a fluffier brush and i'm just going to um take the color luna and i'm going to blend that color out this is a really pretty taupey color it's just a lot of um powder i guess i'm just going to use that just to blend that out just a little bit the colors are really nice though and as you can see they blend in really really nice that's a nice blend there so i'm going to take luna again make sure you tap it off and i'm going to just use that just to blend out a little bit And I'm going to focus a little bit more of that color in the front just to give it a little bit more depth. My eyes are um, hooded, so I try to highlight the inner corner just a little bit. I like doing that though. Okay, so I'm just going to take a another brush. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics, the 104 brush. And it's just an angle type of brush. So I'm going to go into this color here called Viola. Violetta, I think it is. Wow, these colors are, kick up a lot of dust. I mean, shadow. Wow. So I'm just going to focus that on the outer part of my eye really, really quick. Nothing too dramatic. I really am excited that I got this um, palette. I don't know if they're still in stock now, but I got mine from um, Anastasia's website. I don't know if they sell in an Ulta yet. I don't know. I'll check and look. I'll put all the links that I can find. Either Anastasia or Ulta. I don't think they sell it anywhere else. And I was really surprised that it didn't sell out so quickly. Okay, so I'm just darkening out the outer part of my eye. I'm going to take a little bit more of that. Okay, and I'm just going to get a clean brush and I'm going to take my Jessup brush the tapered blending brush I'm just going to blend out the outer edge a little bit more they blend out beautiful I wish that the palette did have a little bit more, uh, have an orange color. Um, it doesn't, but I'm going to go into my Makeup Geek Starter Kit palette and I'm going to go into this orange color here just to warm up the look a little bit. And this color is called Coco Bear. I'm going to go into Coco Bear. And a Coco Bear is a brown, a little bit more of a richer. Um, light brown color but I like the warmth that it gives my eye just make it look a little bit more warmer I could have actually went for a should have used one of max eyeshadows the orange color but this one is cool I'm just gonna place it right there go in a little bit more I'm just it when I go in this way it um, just gives a little bit more depth to my eye like a contour okay so now I'm gonna go into a highlight color let's see what color they have here um, uh, I'm gonna go into Hollywood now this is a satin type of color I usually don't like to put satin colors up underneath my brow bone but I'm gonna try to use as many of the colors as possible 
and I'm gonna blend that out really well just because I really don't like too much of a shimmery color up underneath my eye so I'm gonna go into uh, my Sigma my, I'm sorry my Sedona lace EB09 brush I'm just gonna blend that out there's nothing on the brush just blend that out just a little bit and for the lid color, I think I'm going to go into Marina. I hope I'm pronouncing these names right. Can anyone tell me like what was the idea of him naming the names of this palette if you do know? I'm going to see if I need to wet that color. Ooh, it's really pigmented. This is a nice highlight color. I would use this as a highlight on my cheeks. Oh, this is really pretty. Wow, that's a beautiful color. I think this palette is really, really pretty for um, women of color. And I'm going to go in to blend that out. I'm just placing the color there now. Oh, that is pigmented. really pretty okay so I'm gonna go back in with the um, angle brush I'm not gonna put any more product on it I'm just gonna blend the edge part of it just a little bit more this is just a really quick look I'll come back again to do a more dramatic look with the palette I just really wanted to see how the colors um, look on the eye I want to see what it looks like um, wet so I'm going to take the same brush that I use this is the what brush is this the coastal scents um, eyeshadow brush I'm going to get my setting spray and this is Revlon setting spray I just want to wet the brush and then I'm going to go back into that color Um, Marina. I just want to see how it looks wet. A little bit more pop. Oh, it's pretty. I'm gonna just take it a little bit into the inner part just to do a little bit more of a highlight color and because the brush is wet it's gonna make it pop just a little bit more and it's gonna open up my eyes I have really um, small eyes to me I, I think my eyes are really small so just a little bit more of a pop I don't know which one of these brushes are shedding but it's shedding a lot And I want to deepen the outer part of the eye just a little bit more. So I'm going to go into the color uh, Claudia. And it's not really like a, it's like a gray, a gray color just a little bit, but it has a little bit more depth. I'm just going to place that right on the outer side, outside of my eye. And then I'm going to just take a clean brush. And this is my um, BH Cosmetics blending brush. I'm just going to blend that out apart. Okay, so I'm going to go on with my liner and put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went in just with my Makeup Geek um, eyeshadow and corrupt and just lined my eye with it. Lined my topper lash line with that. I didn't feel like using... Um, liner I don't want it too hard to get off okay so I really do like this palette a lot I really really do so what I'm going to use for my lips is I'm going to take MAC lip liner in chestnut so I'm going to line my lips
And I have a little bit of um chapstick on my lips. And I do that because I'm going to be using the ColourPop liquid um, lipstick. And this is um, LAX, La LAX. These could be a little bit drying, so I like to use a um, chapstick underneath. And this color is so pretty for the winter time, fall and winter. I love Color Pops liquid lipstick. They're really pigmented. Okay, so that's what the look is. The look is really, really nice. I like the eyeshadow a lot. Let me move back just a little bit. So this is what it looks like. I really do like this palette, Muffins. If you can get your hands on it, if you're into nude neutral type of looks this palette is really really nice to pick up the colors are really pigmented as you can see the only downfall i have two of them the only downfall is that it doesn't have a black color in it and that could just be my little pet peeve and then it kicks up a lot of um eyeshadow i don't know whether because those shadows are really really buttery maybe but i really do like it i even use a little bit on my nose um fifth avenue is a really cute highlighter and I also put a little bit more on my cheeks. I really, really like this palette. This is such a great palette for women of color. Like, you cannot go wrong with this palette. And I'm sure there are tons of looks that you can get with them. I'm going to play with this palette for the rest of... Um, well, I'm going to use it tomorrow. And I'll try to do a little bit more of a dramatic color. And I'll post some pictures on my Instagram page. So, thank you for joining me back at my channel, Muffins. Thank you for all of the love and support that you give me on all of my social media accounts. And pick up this palette. It's a great palette and I'll leave the links below and I will talk to you muffins later.